I think it's a win considering Eric didn't throw up. That's a win in my book. <laughs> that was close. He was taking bow nine last night, took him today. Whatever it takes, baby. Got it done. Didn't blow any chunks. morning here but we drove down to Tavernier and the Florida Keys to jump on a World Cap Boats brand new 400 CCX this is their 40 foot catamaran twin 425 XTOs two sea keepers you got a sea keeper two and a sea keeper three wind is kicking today so we're gonna do a bit of sail fishing have a little fun and take you around this boat show you all the details first time we get on it so we're pumped about it here we go let's have some fun So we're plugging up the well. There's a local bait guy right here. We're gonna get some live bait. Check out this live oil here. How many gallons is this? 60? We've got 60 gallons right here on the port side alone. Let's load her up. Adding some chunky thread fin to the goggle eye mix. Definitely a good looking live well. It's nice when you don't have to catch them. Even though it's part of the fun sometimes. All right, so that's what we're talking about right here. So Goggle you can eye, thread fin. Feather the valves to pressurize it. With that open. Yeah, you're good. Just showing off what we're working with. This aquarium feature makes it easy. So this is the first catamaran we actually jump on with sea keepers on it, and right here underneath me, see we got a sea keeper three starboard side and a sea keeper two on the port side if you don't go with this option you can actually even add 80 gallon deck live wells so multiple options but let's see how these sea keepers work out today on this windy Florida Keys morning Making it offshore, getting off the reefs here. Easy four to six with some larger swells. 
Not sure if it translates, never translates through, through video, but you can see if we were not on a 40-foot catamaran, we would have turned back a long time ago. There was a there was a swell that came through that was coming in above Eric's head and I missed it. <laughs> Let's see if we can get another one. All right, down we go. We got one sea keeper on right now as well. Look at that one coming. Look at that one. <laughs> oh man, you just you can't even see through the freaking video. Oh my God, look at this. I can't see the swells out here, but easy four to six, I'd say. Probably more than that. Oh, yeah, that one is a. That was an eight footer. Yeah. Setting up the first drift here, we have one kite up. Looks like we're gonna put three lines out. You're gonna see Dave bridling the goggle eye. Basically what it is is poking a hole through the top, wrapping a rubber band just so that hook swims freely and it doesn't affect the bait. He can run off dangling from the top and we present the uh, line out of the water and it's a, it's a great presentation. We'll see what it does here today. On the kite, we got three rods out, one kite up at the moment. Gonna go ahead and show you what we have here in the cockpit area. In the meantime, as you can see, we have a loaded up live well here port side, 60 gallons. We have our salt water here, just we're using it to clean off the boat. We got some uh, storage space here. I won't open it all the way because we have that. Oh, okay. Bait freezer or 30 gallon live well. You can see the chill plate right behind it. Not using that today, but nice little feature with a uh, sink over to my left. As we had mentioned, we have a Sea Keeper 3 over here with a Sea Keeper 2 on this one. You can utilize that space for an 80 gallon live well, or I'm sure some additional storage or fish box space. Here we have a Sea chest, your whole bilge area, the same on the other side. Plenty of space for you to jump in, do any sort of work in here with room to spare. Got your side door back here, which is nice. Pop this out. It's rough today, so I'm not going to keep that open. But gets completely out of the way, easy access in and out. Although you really don't need it on a catamaran like this. If you take a look here, we got this access door 
going out to your transom platform, which has a ladder that drops straight down. So whether you're diving at the sandbar or whatever it may be, could not get any more e any easier or comfortable to jump in and out of the boat. So this one in particular, you see a nice oversized hardtop. We have here rear facing bench seat. This is a cooler being used as storage, I believe, right now. Show this. You gotta pull it from the center. And let's pull this from the center. Lift up from the bottom. All right. Not normally that hard. This is okay. First time I I used that. That's pretty bad. So that's pretty sweet right there. Nice little rigging station. Uh, just pops out from your back seat, backrest of this rear-facing bench. Got rod holders there, three captain's chairs, excellent helm area, rod storage underneath the gunnels, as you can see. Tackle storage right under here. JL audio speakers, as you'll see all around the boat. Ladder for second station option, which this one in particular does not have, but Really nice looking helm area, seating area. This is a 12-8 beam, so a ton of room back here to fish, and hopefully we can get on some here to show you. Shark? So while we're drifting these kites, I wanna show you a little bit about this bow area and some of the features that they have here. As you can see right, they got broad storage along the console storage base under here large fish box right in front of that and you can opt actually to extend this fish box into that area for an extra large fish box if you if you like if not you can get that space and add 54 gallons of fuel on either side um, like you said 604 standard 604 is a uh, standard gallons of fuel and you can add 108 to that. So, I know you guys are gonna ask what these tracks are. They call this cat track seating. Basically what that is, basically like uh, frigid rigid coolers that you can either slide together or spread apart, depending on whether you're fishing or hanging out with the family. Just gives you some uh, adjusting capabilities here, which is kind of cool. And we'll show you that on one of the next boats. Here we have your fresh water and your head holding tank on this side. Check, check how cool this is. Lockable rod storage underneath this compartment. And actually, that reminded me, I forgot this right here. More lockable rod storage. Both port and starboard. Keep going up here customary to cats you got storage on both sides here in this large bow space you got your windlass right here gas shock popped off unfortunately things happen all right lastly let me show you this console cabin check out how that door opens doesn't impede your view visibility at the helm. We got our cat, our, our kite stored there, but you see you got a full size head. Actually, nice headroom for a catamaran as well. And a really nice forward bench seat to relax on. So, good amount of space up here towards the bow. them up a little.
quick look at the helm area. We got triple Garmin units, 16s right lined up side by side. You have your joystick right here, a couple of storage compartments, which is really nice. Those are 17s, 17s actually, my fault. Great visibility over the bow here, considering it's a 40 footer. Some storage up top. Very comfortable captain's chairs. Tackle station underneath here. Looks really sharp in that gray accent color they used as well. Your EC3 Edson carbon fiber wheel is the finishing touch. Check this out. This is an 800 amp lithium battery system. Tucked in nice and organized underneath the leaning post. This runs the inverter, air conditioning, automatic battery switches that click on when you turn on the power up here on the controls of the boat. Pretty crazy system. Wanted to show you guys that. That concludes our day on the WorldCat 400 CCX. Incredible catamaran. I mean, it was freaking nasty out there. Six footers consistently, definitely eight footers, whether it translates into the video or not. Um, it was nasty and this boat held its own. We were not uncomfortable at any point. We we're running 35 miles an hour, I think, burning almost a mile per gallon with the 425 XTOs. A lot of fun, Mike, Dave, everybody. Thank you guys for having us. It was a lot of fun. Leave your comments. If you find value in our videos, please subscribe, share with your friends and family, and we'll see you again soon.